And that's going to be a 5 two, seven. Dang, dang, double dang. Working to come out can be a jerk sometimes. Hey guys, welcome back to Martin Point. Um, in case this is your first time watching, welcome. Um, I do roll out craps content to teach you how to play the game of craps and different strategies to roll out so you can make money at the casino. Okay, our first, now I rolled out a video about a month ago. I was on a cruise and I rolled out the Warren. Most of y'all seen the Warren. Um, it's a great strategy, a little bit aggressive for some. However, a lot of people really caught on and they like the system. Now the original Warren, I'm gonna play it a little bit different, so stay with me here. On the original Warren, basically what we did was we started off with a pass line bet of $25, and then we did $220 on the inside. So $220 on the inside is basically $50 on the 5 and 9, and then it's $60 on the 6 and 8. Okay, these were our bets. Now, what we did was we worked our bets on the come out roll. So when the puck was off, our bets were working. What does that mean? If you're working your bets when the puck is off, that means no matter what, number rolls right here. You either win if the number rolls, or if big red comes, you'll lose these bets. In this case, you have a constellation where you actually win the pass line bet because the pass line would win on a 7 or 11. Of course, it would lose on a 2, 3, and 12. However, if we were to get a point, and the point would go to the, the 9, let's just say, then what's going to happen is, is that bet, which is working, will pay us $70. It's a $50 bet. It'll pay us $70. In the original Warren, what I did was I took that bet back and went behind with odds, and then this became a press on each of these other bets, okay? So now, this time, we're going to play it a little bit different. I'm not going to show that bet. However, this time, we're going to play it a little bit different, okay? Let me show you what we're going to do different. Rather than going 220 on the inside with a pass line bet, in this case, we're actually going to play a don't pass. Now, a don't pass, in case you're new, is opposite as a pass line. So the pass line, you're rooting for the point to hit, prior to the seven or big red, on the don't pass, you're rooting for the seven to roll prior to hitting the point, in this case, if it's a nine. Now, let's show you how this is gonna work where they don't pass. Remember, our puck is gonna be off and we're gonna work our bets on the come out roll. A lot of people don't really like that, but that's what we're gonna do on this type system. We have a don't pass, which also means if you hit big red, you'll lose this bet. But hang with me here, okay, don't worry. Let's say we get a point, and let's just say the point is on a six, okay? What's going to happen is, is that $60 is going to pay 70 okay? That's going to pay 70 What we're going to do is we're going to take this bet down. Rather than putting it as odds like we did on the original Warren, we're actually going to take that $50 and go back to our rack just like that. Let me tell you why. Because in the original Warren, we were working with the point. In this case, we're going to try to use that money as leverage and put that money back into the rack. And we're still going to press these bets up, okay? These bets are still going to go up at the original levels of what they were. So I would color these up to make sure they're all right. So that would be 75. Uh, this would be 75. And then this would be 90. Now, again, the difference is, is you have a point, but you have a don't pass here. So you're waiting for the seven to roll, but you want to collect as much opportunity on these other bets as possible to get them pressed up. Now, if you do get a hit, that's a $75 bet on the five and nine and a $90 bet on the eight. Each of these bets is going to pay us $105, 105. Let's just say it hits the five. If it hits the five, I'm going to put a black chip down and I'm going to collect the rest of that bet. Let's just say one more hit. Let's just say it's on the eight this time. If the eight hits, that's also going to pay us 105. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to collect the $75 in a perfect scenario, if you got two more hits, just like this, what's going to work out here, if you look at our bankroll, remember we started with 270, 220 on the inside plus a $50 don't pass. After just two hits, let's see what that looks like. That's 100. That's 200. So you have $200 sitting here. You also have a $50 don't pass. Now, many will say they do not like to remove or take down that don't pass. But just know, the don't pass is not a contract bet. Now, the casino wants you to take it down because you beat the odds of the come out roll and you have that option because you are in the advantage of the casino. Why? Well, there's six ways to roll a seven. There's only five ways to roll a six. That means you have the advantage of winning this bet. We are not taking odds, okay? But you have the option of taking this down if you wanted to, right? So what happens is if you do that, you have 200 and $55. Remember, we started with $270. We brought $50 back originally. We bought $50 back off the don't pass. That's really only $220. So now look here. You have $220. That's out here ready for you. 
You have this in profit and everything up here is in profit now. So now you're ready to roll. Now, again, options. You do not have to pull this bet down. I'm going to leave it up for the scenario of this rollout. But just want to give you options if you want to just roll out these to have money back into your rack, you have that opportunity to do it. All right, guys, I'm going to roll this out and see how we do. And remember, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll do the live rolls. Now, to play the Warren at this level, which I have a $2,000 bankroll. Now, a lot of people might say, I don't have $2,000 to play with. Remember, this type exact system can be leveled down all the way down to $200 to $300 to $400 level. All you're doing is just changing the green chips to red chips. The idea is the exact same 100% where they don't pass. Let's just say you only want to go 66 or 110 inside. The concept is the exact same. I'm going to go with 220 with a uh, with the black chips at $2,000 bankroll. And we're going to get it set up. So basically here we're going to go. I'm going to go here. I'm going to call it 220 on the inside. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to make sure I tell the dealer I want my bets working. We're also going to have a don't pass. Remember, on a 7 or 11, you're actually going to lose this bet along with all these bets. All right, guys, let's see how we roll. Here we go. Let's get a point established. Uh, we got a shooter coming out. Let's get some dice here. Let's grab these two. Remember, when you grab dice, you only grab them with one hand and move the rest to the side. The dealer will take those. All right, come on, shooter. Let's get a point going. All right, that is that is a three two five, guys. That's going to be the no field five. So that's going to be a... Our first point, now again, that's a working bet. Our bet is on. That's going to pay us $70, all right? So now at this point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bet here, go all the way back. That's going to go back into our rack. Now remember, the don't pass right here, we are hoping that the seven rolls prior to the five, right? But in this case here, we're going to press up these bets a little bit. We're going to have to drop down just a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to drop down $15. And what happens here when you do that, that's going to press these all the way up and make them uh, basically an $80 pressure to where everything here now pays a black chip, and now we're ready to roll. Let's move that over to the side. So let's go over, let's do a little cre recap here. So basically these are $90 bets. Now that's a $75 bet. Everything pays one in five. All right, come on, shooter. All right, that's gonna be a six, four, 10. We are not on the 10. That's big Ben down there on the end. And there's an eight. All right, that's a five, three, okay. So what's gonna happen here is that'll pay us $105, all right? So what we're going to do here, we're going to collect that $75. That's going to go back to the rack. Now, at this point in time, I think I grabbed the wrong chip there. That should be a, a five there. Basically, now it's going to take it into a $120, $120 bet on the eight, just like that. All right, come on. Here we go, shooter. All right, there's a six. That's going to be the four, two, six. All right, so we've gotten two hits so far. Now, that $9 bet, again, is going to pay us $105. Uh, what we're going to do here is that's going to collect that $75. It's going to go back to the rack. And now, again, we're going to go up to a $120 bet. At this point in time, you've gotten two hits. If you want to be totally out the hand and pull down your don't pass, you can. However, I always suggest you beat the odds of the come out roll. You might as well leave that bet there. You're in the advantage. All right, come on, shooter. And there's another six. How about that? That's going to be the 4-2 this time. All right, that's going to pay us $150. All right, what can we do? We can go up to a $150 bet. Let's collect this here. So this is all going to come back to the rack, and this can now be a $150 bet. All right, come on, shooter. Let's keep it going. All the way around the table, that's going to be a 538. Okay, 538. That's going to pay us another $150. Okay, you know what you could do here? Take this here, set it there, and this now goes back to the rack. Sort of looking pretty good on our rack so far, right? $2,000 started bankroll. Come on, shooter. Ah, oh, that's all right. We knocked off our point. All right, that's going to be our 415. We knocked off our points. So we're going to pull this back. Remember, if you hit the point prior to hit the seven, you lose this bet. Now, what we're going to do here is in the original Warren, once you hit your point, you go back and you regress. You regress these back down to 220 inside. We're going to do that exact same thing. So here's what we got. We got 225 sitting right here. All this is going to go back to the rack. Okay, that's going to go back to the rack. I am going to drop that $50 for the don't pass. Let's not forget that. And I'm going to give you $5 and change, okay, for that 25 and now let's keep this thing going. And now we can set these things back up at 220 on the inside. Remember, that's $50 on the five and nine, and that's $60 on the six and eight. And uh, we are ready to roll. Again, our bets are gonna be working. Never forget, our bets are gonna be working. You have that option of not working if you want. All right, come on, shooter. All right, that's a three. That's gonna be a one, two, three now on a don't pass. Remember, if a two or three rolls, you actually win that bet. That's even odds. So you win $50 on the pass, on the don't pass, excuse me. Now that's going to go back to our rack. All right, guys, let's go. 
And that's going to be a 516. So the 516, that's going to be our new point, which is the 6. Now that's going to pay us $70, okay? That'll pay us 70 uh, Again, what we're going to do here is go ahead and pull uh, this here. Is we're going to press up our other bets. This is going to come back to the rack. Let's go ahead and move that. That's our rack this way. And we're going to go, let's move that out the way. We're going to go 25, 25. And this is a green chip as well. 25. And now we're going to press this up. Now everything is at $80 pressure. Okay, but we have is 75, 75, and 90. Everything pays 105. All right, shooter, let's go. And there's going to be a hard eight, guys. That is the square pair, uh, the hard eight. Okay, that's going to pay us $105. What we're going to do is we're going to make it a 120, rack that 75 back into the rack. Now you got a $120 bet sitting there. Come on, shooter, keep going. Ah, how about that roll all the way across? That's going to be a 6-5 yo mid mochiro. The dice are skipping today. How about that? All right, now that's going to be a 4-3-7. So we're going to lose, right? We're going to lose these bets. Now we are going to pay our don't pass. Let's go and pay that out. But these bets will come back to the dealer. And everything is a loss here. Let's turn the puck off. Let's go ahead and pull our payment back and go back to our rack just like that. And uh, let's go ahead and drop down another 220. We can use it out of these greens. So it'll be 220 on the inside. Okay. Just like that. We've already got our don't pass set, which is $50. And we are ready to roll. Let's keep it going. Our bets are on. The puck is off. Let's go, shooter. And that's going to be a 5 two, seven. Dang, dang, double dang. Working to come out can be a jerk sometime. Let's just go ahead and say you have the option, but we did. We worked to come out. We got snipe. That happens, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these. We know it's 220 plus 70, which is 270. We have $270 in bets working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it right. I'm going to call it 200 and 50, 270. So I have $270 going to come back to the dealer, say, keep my bets working, keep them on, keep them rolling. Uh, we did make a little bit of money that time, so it does it, it does hurt because it takes profits away. However, that's kind of like the, the crunch in the system, right? All right, here we go, shooter. Let's go. All right, it's going to be a three. How about that? Another one, two, three on the come out roll. Uh, that is going to be a winner on the don't pass. So let's go ahead and make that as $50. That goes back to the rack just like that. Let's keep it going. And that's a nine. Okay, the five, four, nine. That's going to be the center field, guys. That's the center field nine. Now, that is going to pay us $70, right? That'll pay us $70. Again, here, I'm going to go ahead and turn, turn the puck on the nine. Make sure that was 70 it was. Okay, here, I'm going to go and put, put this back into the rack. Okay, I think I'm going to have to press some, uh, pick up a little bit of extra money here. I am. I'm going to have to pick up $15. Okay, what that happens here, or I can just do this. I can just drop a quarter. Put that $10 back into the rack. That may be a little bit easier way to do it. That way it's a little less exchanging, right? So now, again, you have a $75 bet on the 5. You have a $90 bet on the 6 and 8. Uh, we don't have to worry about the on puck no more. Come on, shooter. All right, that's going to be a 5 one, six. Okay, that's going to be an easy 6, all right? So what's going to happen is that's going to pay us $105. Again, we're going to go up to a $120 bet. They're going to give you that $75 back into your rack. You got a nice $120 bet working for us. And let's keep it going. And that's going to be a 5 two, seven. Ah, you got one hit out of it. Man, 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 gum. So we are going to win or don't pass, which is, a, which is good, I guess. But you are going to lose the big bets. You don't want to lose the big bets, right? So these are our big bets. Let's see if this thing can come back. And the few rolls that we're going to do, uh, let's turn the puck off. We're going to drop down another $220. Again, a little bit steep for some people. I get it. But some people got it like that, right? Some people can play it bigger. Uh, 220 on the inside. That looks like that right there. Let's go ahead and grab our red chips. And let's go ahead and do that here. And come on, shooter. Our bets are going to be on. Let's pull this money back. That's going to go back to our rack. Our bets are on. Dealer, work my bets. And that's going to be the square pair. That's going to be the hard eight, guys. That's going to be the hard eight. Again, that's going to pay us $70. All right, that's going to pay us $70. Uh, what we can do here, we're going to put that $50 back into our rack. No odds. We're not taking any don't pass odds. We could spread these out a little bit. And that's going to be a quarter right here. Ooh, let's make it a quarter. So now you have your bets are all set up, ready to roll. All right, come on, shooter. Let's do it. And that's going to be a five. That's going to be the, the no field five. All right, that's going to pay us $105. Again, take that $75 back to the rack with that red chip. And uh, put that $100 as our next bet. Smooth these over. All right, come on, shooter. Let's do it. And there's a six. That's going to be the four, two. That's going to be the easy six. All right. Again, let's pay another $105. All 
Basically, what's going to happen here, that's going to go up to $120 bet. Again, rack that $75 and ready to roll. Come on. And that's another six. That's another easy six to four two. All right. So again, that's a hundred twenty dollar bet. That's gonna pay us one hundred and fifty dollars. Again, I'm gonna keep it at one hundred fifty dollars. I'm gonna rack that one twenty, just like that. Now that goes up to one hundred fifty bucks. All right. Let's keep it going, shooter. And there's a ten down there on the end. Big Ben, Waylon's best friend. And that's another six. We're hammering the six. My gracious. That's 150. That's going to pay us 175. That's a nice hit. We actually go up to a uh, $180 bet. Basically, what you're going to do is drop down $5. That makes it 180. You can actually rack that 150 back into the rack. Look at this, guys. $180 bet off a couple sixes. I'll take that all day long. Box cars 12. All right. That's going to be midnight. No help to me. And there's eight. There's going to be an eight. Now, that does not help us. Okay. Why? Because we're playing the don't pass, and just so happen, it happens to be on the eight. So we're going to lose this bet. We hit our point. We're going to lose that bet. We're going to turn it off. Uh, let's go and drop down another $50 for the don't pass. Okay. It's going to reset that back up. However, these are going to regress down. Remember, every time these regress down. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make that. Uh, we actually just go ahead and pull everything back. I'm just going to drop down $20 here. It'll be a little bit easier. So we dropped down twenty dollars there. So I got two hundred twenty dollars that we're going to reset back up on the inside. Always set back up every single time. So let's do that again. Get these all set back up. So now that we're at two twenty on the inside, we got a don't pass working for us. Our bets are going to be on. Let's go ahead and mark them on. And here we go, shooter. Oh, I hit the chips. I hit the chips. I knocked them over. However, that is going to be a 10 down there on the end. Big Ben. All right, so here we go. Let me restack my chips that I knocked over. Now, remember on this one, with our 10 as the point, we didn't press these up at all. So you have options to here when you have the 4 and 10. How do you want to press? You can just do a single press if you want to, or you could do a full press. However you want to do it, it's totally up to you. However, you don't have that point working on the inside like we have been playing. So you don't have that immediate pressure. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. All right, that's going to be a three, one, two, three, uh, the shocker. No help to me, though. And there's another one, back-to-back, -back, ultimate shocker. How about that? And there's a nine, okay, five, four. So what we could do here, we could actually just do a single press because we don't want to risk too much here. I don't want to drop no more money at my rack at this point in time, but it will pay us $70. So when it pays us $70, we can just go up to a $75 bet and just start collecting the rest of it there. All right, here we go. And that is going to be a seven. It is a leaner. It is a six one. It's going to roll over to a six one seven. Not great for the home team. Uh, again, we will, we will win this bet here, but the rest of these bets are actually going to come back to the rack. So no help to us. So these bets are going to come back as a loss. We're going to rack that $50 back into our rack. Um, not too bad. We are actually, I feel like we're still up, which is good, uh, even after getting sniped a couple of times. Uh, let's go and do it. Let's drop down $220. Back at it, right? Back at 220 on the inside. And it's going to set it up. I think you kind of get the idea now, right? You got kind of, I kind of feel like we've explained it enough. All right, here we go. It's going to, uh, our bets are on. It's going to make them mark them on. Here we go. And that's going to be the hard six. That's the dice DJ hard six. Okay. So it's marked the six here. And now we're going to pay it $70. Okay. Pay it 70. Okay. That's $60. We're going to go back to our rack just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and press these up here, here, here. And I need that $10 that I, that I put back to make that a quarter. And there we go. We are all set back up. Let's put these back on. All right, here we go. Don't worry about that no more. All right, let's go, shooter. And that's going to be a seven. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We cannot get out of this seven range. It's killing us. Oh, my gracious. So we are going to lose this. So any of those profits that we had is definitely coming back uh, back and fast, right? So that's how it happens, guys. You can have a good run. You have bad runs. That is the risk of every system. It doesn't matter how these dice roll. You can win. You can lose. It really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and try that out for one more shooter. This can be the last shooter, guys. The last shooter. Let's go ahead and drop down 200 and, uh, 220 bucks uh, here. That's 220 um, I'm going to grab that $50 and come back to the rack. Uh, so this will be the last shooter. Let's see how we do. Yeah, 20, 20, 20. All right, so you got 220 on the inside, and it's going to be working. Let's turn the puck off. Our bets are on. We've got a don't pass set. 
And we're ready to go. Come on, shooter. Let's do this. Let's get some new dice. I'll tell you what. New shooter. New shooter. New dice. Let's pick these two up. Let's move those over to the side. And let's do this thing again. Come on, shooter. Good juju. Blowing the dice. Hits the chips. It hits the chips. And it's going to be a 5 4 9. That's going to be the center field. Okay, center field nine. Let's mark up the nine. I'll, I'll fix the chips in a second. That's going to pay us 70 bucks. All right, it's going to pay us 70. Oh, uh, we can go ahead and go ahead and take this here, go back to the rack just like that. And now we're going to press up this inside. We do that press and go here, here. Uh, and I'm going to have to drop down $15. Let's go ahead and drop down 15. Okay, so that takes that to a quarter. And now we're ready to roll. Everything's all pressed up. The puck is on the nine. The nine is the point. And let's keep it going. There's an eight. That's going to be the five, three, eight. Okay. It's going to be an easy eight. It's going to pay us 105. Pays a 105 here. All we can do here is go ahead and uh, make that 120. And now what you can do, because I have so many greens here, if you want to put black chips in there, you can do this. You can actually drop down a quarter. That colors that up. And they'll actually give you a black chip instead of green chips. And these actually come back to my rack as well. So I like it. Still $120 bet sitting there. Oh, I hit the side wall. That is going to be a 415. That's all right. 415, it still pays the same. It's going to be 105. Let's do that one more time. We're actually going to color it up. We're going to make that a black chip. And now they're going to give you that black chip back by dropping that $25. And uh, let's keep it going. Oh, we don't need the $5, though. We put that back into the rack. And there's a four. We are not on the four. That is the two, two, the hard four. And there's a six, another six. All right, that's a four, two. Okay, that's going to pay us $105, 105. Again, we're going to take it down. We're going to put the greens in the back right, right this time. Make it to a $120 bet. And there we go. Okay, everything pressed up. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's box cars. Midnight, no help to us. Come on, shooter. And there's your seven. That is going to be the six one. We got them all pressed up. We got, you know what? We got a little bit out of it. That's all right. Um, but let's go ahead and pull these back. Okay, we're going to pull this back. We're going to find out how much we ended up making or losing. Uh, I can't really tell from here. That is going to pay us $50 for our, uh, for our don't pass. But all this now can come back to our rack. So this can come back to our rack. And again, we started with $2,000. Uh, let's check it out and see how we did. All right, let's go ahead and count the blacks first. So we got one, two, three, four, five. That's 500. That's 1,000. That's 1,500. And I know this is $500 here. So that's actually 2,000. So five, 10, 15, that's 2,000. So this is actually our original starting bankroll, which is great because I can def definitely tell we're in profit, which is always good. So the rest of this is going to be profit, right? So you get 100. It's two, three, four, 500. 525, 550, 500. We got $560 profit, guys. This is the hybrid Warren, the dark side Warren. Whatever I end up calling it, I'm not sure. But you have a don't pass, 220 on the inside. Remember, this can be leveled down to any level you want to. You can go to 110 inside. You can go to 66 inside. It doesn't matter. The same concept is the exact same. This is how I like to roll it out at big boy level. I uh, made five, over $500, which is a great day at the tables if you make it out. All right, guys. Again, every strategy you can lose, depending on how them dice roll, just make sure you have that bankroll to sustain those big hits and you can make the big money. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. If you haven't subscribed already, please take the time. It'll really help us out. Hit that like button. Subscribe down below. Until next time, mark the point and stay awesome.